Okay, so this is a 32 ounce taper. I don't know if I said that before from Makerflow. It is dry enough now, I believe. Um, I have jungle green, lagoon blue, rich plum, and mambo pink. Hopefully all of these will show up on the black. And of course my power wash, so. And I'm going to spritz from a little further back this time to get like smaller bubbles. This is one of these, I'm just doing it to show you I don't have a plan for this cup deals. So I'm just going to randomly spray it with each color. See what happens. Grab my green again. So that's got some of each color. I don't really see much black. I'm gonna take my water and give it a rinse. So, there's that. And if you decide you don't like this exactly as is, like say I like the colors but I wanted it all more blue, I could let it dry a minute and power wash over it again and spray the entire cup blue and then I would have different parts showing through. So. But that's it. It's really simple to power wash. This I'll probably go ahead and throw a cheat glitter on. Or say I decided I wanted more black back in it, I could power wash the majority of it and spray paint black back over the top. You can build layers of the power wash however you want. Um, again, this one I did just over spray paint, so I cannot remove this paint if I decide I don't like it. If you've epoxied it, you can take your acetone or your alcohol and bring it back down. But that is it. Hopefully that answered some of the power wash questions and makes up for the fact that I haven't been including that step in some of the videos. Hopefully that Okay, I'm ready to get resin on here. I already have resin mixed up. I did add a little bit of my IPP Mistress Cheat to this glitter or to this resin. Um, just to give it a little sparkle. This cheat does have like all of the colors of the rainbow in it. So I thought it would play nicely off of this particular cup. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do for a decal. So I'm working on that. I'm working on it. I'm giving this a good heavy coat because it does not have any epoxy on it yet and I want all of those um, paint splots to get leveled off so again this is a 32 ounce taper and I probably just put a good 20 mls on here possibly a little bit more I had ordered two of these cups months ago and they've just been sitting here, so I'm glad I finally pulled one out to use it. So I'm going to let it spin and dry and I'm going to try and come up with a cute decal for it. Okay, I decided this power wash cup is going to get this decal. So I'm going to do a 
burst for it to go on. And I had this tape down while I sealed the water slide, so I'm actually just going to mark it with a dry erase marker where I'm going to need the burst to be at least this big. So, I have a little box there now, and that's the area I'm going to fill in. So I'm going to go ahead and use a base coat of my green that I used on the tumbler. So, uh, hopefully I'm in frame. And I am not going to lie, I'm a little happy handed with my spray paints today. I forget how fast these fusions come out. So, I'm going to let this dry a second. And then I'm going to come back in with white. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This looks ugly because I promptly dropped it off the football into the grass. So I went over it with another coat of the green. So it's a hot mess. But I'm going to go over it with the white now. And I may need two coats of white to cover. Um, this is going to get another coat of resin before the decal goes on anyways. So. And I'm going to clean it back up after it dries. So, Because that's way too big a burst. But I'll need to clean up some of this messier stuff and pick where I want the burst to go. So I'm going to let it dry and give it another coat. And then I'm going to go in and show you how I clean it up. All right, so here's this cup. This is still a little tacky. I think it's just going to be tacky forever. <laughs> um, but this is the water slide I decided on for this cup. It's a little brighter colors-wise than the rest of it, but I like it. Um, I printed it on this inkjet water slide decal paper by Siegel. Um, 20 sheets in a pack, and it is clear and designed for ink jets. So that is what I used. I'm going to keep it handy so I can dry fit where it's going to go. I'm going to get the paper out of the way though. So I'm just going to kind of get an idea of where I'm going to put the decal, which I think is going to be here. So this is just a dry erase marker. I'm going to mark around it so I know what my basic boundaries are. So I have a little cup here that I'm going to put some uh, just acetone in. I like the Onyx brand from Walmart. <clears throat> Not the soak off, just the regular pure acetone. So I think you can get this on Amazon too. I can leave a link for it if I can find it down in the description. So, I like to use t-shirt material to cut up. We always have t-shirt rags in our house, so for me it's just convenient. Um, and I am just going to start removing those layers of paint. And I am going to try and leave some of the green. And I'm going to come back and clean all this up again. So this is just like an initial scrub down because I do have overspray around the back of the cup and stuff. So, but just to get the first bulk of the excess off. I think I'm going to kind of maybe do a somewhat circular pattern to this. More so than a square square pattern. And this is why you do two layers so you have some variation because it ends up looking pretty cool that way. So, 
and come down a bit in the top. And I do have still a bit on this side that I can bring off. Okay, so I've gotten the bulk of it off. I'm going to just test fit it, make sure I haven't gone too, too far anywhere. All right, so I can probably come down off the top a little bit more, but the bottom and the sides are right in there. So I'm going to give a quick dip again. bring that top down just a little bit more. All right. So now I'm going to grab a fresh piece and let me pick up my cup. And I am just going to clean around the cup now and get all of that excess off and any overspray I find. Paying extra attention to around my spots that I'm leaving just because you don't want any weird bits around there if you can help it. So, I know I said I was going to epoxy again before I applied my water slide, but... Um, I think in this case I'm not going to. Um, I have more water slide paper on the way that I have to test and do video on. So I'm going to do that set uh, the right way. But I think this one I'm going to skip the rules and do the other way. Um, just because I can... And I did cut this in really tight, so I'm hoping it won't be a super noticeable edge. I think I want to bring this corner down a little bit. And I'm going to very carefully do it while my decal is sitting there. I may actually leave it like that, kind of. And I may actually come in a tiny bit here and bring some of the green up. acetone in my cup because I am out. I'm going to bring this corner down just a little bit. Break that up. Make it a little irregular. And maybe bring a little bit up right in here. Irregular. All right. So, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to make sure I'm cleaned up again. Make sure there's no lint from my rag on here because, you know, my shirt, once it's wet, matches. So, um, but I'm going to let this dry because it is a little tacky from the acetone. And then I'm going to come in and apply the water slide in a few minutes. Okay, I am back, ready to get my water slide on here. I'm going to get the tumbler wet, and I'm going to soak my water slide. My water is pretty warm here, so it shouldn't take too long to release. Keep that wet a minute. And 
and she is ready to slide. So I'm going to try and get it somewhat positioned where I wanted it. And I think it was about in there. And I'm going to slide my backer out. And I am not even going to try and move that. I am just going to let it sit where it landed. Because it's pretty good. Let me get this out of the way. I can move my cup a little bit again. But I'm pretty pleased with how that landed. So I'm going to grab my silicone spatula quick. And just push from the center out just to make sure there's no water trapped underneath or air bubbles and get the little mom life over here and I'm going to grab a dry paper towel and blot it as dry as possible that way look for any wrinkles but I think that's pretty good I'm gonna dry the whole cup off now. So I'm gonna let that sit and dry a bit and then I'm gonna get a coat of epoxy on it. But that is how I decided to finish this cup. This cup is a beast under where I have my <laughs> camera sitting right now. It's huge. So that is it. I'm going to let it dry and get it under some resin for you. Okay, I'm ready to get resin on this one. I am going to put some more of that IPP Mistress Cheat. I will put the link to It's Pretty Personal down in the description. I'll sprinkle a little bit in. And I have resin on this glove already, so I'm trying not to touch too much. But I'm going to get that mixed in. Okay. And I'm going to get it applied. And again, this is a very large cup, so I mixed up quite a bit of resin. spread out. I just wanted to bring the whole thing to glitter, not just the base. That's why I added more of this cheat, and because I really like it, and I put it on almost everything. But it just gives that whole decal a little sparkle. It almost makes it look like a white water slide, or a clear water slide over glitter. But in this case, it's under the glitter. So, I'm going to get you down for a close-up of this one. Because I think it's pretty cool. And then I'm going to get my turners swapped position. I have more to finish. So I'm going to get this dirty glove off. I'm going to get them both off because I have glitter on the other one and the next cup doesn't get glitter. I'm going to hit that with the torch real real quick. <clears throat> Just get any bubbles out because I didn't preheat any of my resin this time. So I'm just going to go basically once around. And across the bottom quick. So, I'm going to bring you down try not to get my hand in the way. Look at how cool that is. I'm going to let it come around again. So super sparkly. I love it. 
I got you tilted so you can see the decal as it comes. How pretty is that? So, now that is it. I'm going to let that come once more. So you can see the whole decal. That is it for this one. See you in the next video.